Oh hi, it's Ter, and welcome back to another, uh, unboxing video of sorts. And, uh, here we are unboxing some more VR stuff. This time we are unboxing, is that on, on the way? I can't tell. It's not coming off, which is nice, but still. First off, we're unboxing the VR shell, clear. by Random Chinese Factory, which I already did put on the device because it needed it badly. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, th this is, the st uh, hopefully this is the sol sol solution to these not coming down all the way. But we'll see. Well, as you can see, this is what it looks like on the device and it works perfectly good. It did, it did get scratched up right, right away though. Just for a few days, just for a few days of sitting on microfiber towels but no but uh, it works perfectly fine especially with how noisy this image is anyway and as you can see the reason why I got the, the reason why I got uh, something some other reviewers hate is because of one problem in particular Two problems actually. One problem I like the uh, one problem is I like the cloth headstrap over anything that has a big knob behind it because you can't wear it on you can't wear the headrest no matter how much J Brad thinks you can by just taking off the headset and just wearing it that way. I don't know if you ever played a flight sim before, but you're looking around and all that, how are you gonna be how are you gonna be holding how are you going to be um Looking around when your head's like when your head straps like that, I don't know. But uh yeah, no, like yeah. Like the thing about like the thing about and as you can see how I wear my how I wear this how I wear the stock head strap is well this back as far as I can. This scrunched up on my chin. Just so I can get some semblance of let's get a menu up. Give me the menu. See these being the even with the even with these uh hanging lenses, I need it scrunched on my face and I need it high up. And I need it and I need this lower. But I can't do it because there's nothing there's nothing there. Which is the problem with the sock strap is it's just it's not adjustable on the, it is just enough to get it is just enough to be good, but nothing more. Um and I still don't think I could have worked with the mobile VR headset because it fixed none of the problems. Fixed none of the problems. It fixed none of sorry, I just got up. It fixed none of these problems, really. Uh it just is a side grade. And I even think the big expensive version, which is still cheap, which is around the same price as this guy, is also um, a CGSI grade. You got a fan and a battery, whoop de doo uh, you still can't put your head on a headrest. And it's still mostly a side grade, it's still a flimsy, I, I believe it's still a flimsy uh, head strap. Right, anyway. So let's try you. And then put that down there and be not worry about the lenses. And again, like the scratches on the clear uh, cover is fine. It, I haven't had heat issues so far, but anyway. So let's take this off. It's actually kind of scarily easy. I, oops, done it already. I do like the facial interface, so I'll try to keep it, I'll try to keep it. Like I actually like this material. It, it feels nice to me. Which that's the thing about XR in general these days and just tech in general is it's all very personal so saying absolutes is just a way to get you criticized heavily on the internet and make you sound like a very bad reviewer there we go that was easy push over there oh so I got the brick heads in five years, Captain Cody, or Commander Cody. Well, let's get this unboxed. 
Now this is a now this is a three-way collaboration between Ray's Med, which is the people that make my grandpa's sleep apnea mask, Razor, and Meta, as you can see by the front of the box. Sorry if you, sorry if I was blurry before though. I forgot about the, the focusing, so it, it's a little bit late now. But you get the idea. It's just that the stock strap is good enough. It's I, I do believe that the stock strap is good enough for the vast majority of people. I get like I, I highly suggest getting the Quest 3. If you get a Quest 3, wear the stock strap for a prolonged period of time, like let's say a solid week uh, a solid uh, 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 like a week's worth of gaming with a few hour with a few with a few hours a day or a few well, let's say you well, you should probably wear it for ten hours uh the stock shop and see if you do really need something else because why wouldn't and also why would meta produce something that's subpar at this price it would make, it made sense for the quest two but not for the quest three like it didn't make sense for the uh rift with, uh, like it didn't make sense for the Rift uh, CV1 to have a bad head strap because it didn't actually have a good head strap like the Quest 3 and another sad thing about the R, uh, about the XR community is it's, it is also very very personality driven unfortunately so when one guy says one thing it's sticking it's taking this gospel Hence why my video on the uh, M3 not being for me or not not being not being worth it, uh, because it was just side grade. Because it, it's kind of factually side grade. It's just that is it worth it to you? Is it is it like these few things worth it to you? Is another thing. Um, but yeah, the, the, again, razor boxes are always nice and always the same. Which made me move this. Again, sorry, I just cut up. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's high quality. As it should be. High quality medical grade. It goes on like an old stock strap. And again, I'm only getting this because of one design flaw in the Quest 3. Not related to the stock strap at all. Nothing in there. Not related to the stock strap at all. By the way, but it's a design flaw with the Quest 3 having these, um, not, not being able to be adjusted for high cheekbones and large heads, which is kind of a design oversight, but anyway, like these, like these don't go down. I need them to go down so I can have these straight onto my head instead of having them up at an angle. But if it works up at an angle with the razor, that's a different thing entirely. Oh, this is really nice. Really soft. Really, really. Oh, that's really, really soft. I mean, yes, it's more. Yeah, it's more of a nylon texture, but it's really soft. Like it's extremely soft. I mean, it. it, it, it like it's the, the softness you expect from something from from something at this price point. And again, it's a Razer product. You can always get it for cheaper. I'm not really getting because I didn't say in this video, but it's a Razer product you can always get for cheaper on sales. Especially when a new one comes out. If there is a new one coming out. Unlikely though. Much harder to get on there than. Much harder to get. I, I like having the, the clear thing on over the cameras at all. Just have to replace the clear thing if it gets really scratched to the point of I can't use it. There we go. Uh, this has a small patch, but that's all you really need. I wish it was. I mean, I guess I wish it was at the tab too. I wish it was more like that. 
But then again, how much could you fold on if you had a really small, if you had a really small head, though? Let's see. If, oh, look at that! When I mean, something's actually well engineered for the product, it actually works. I like the Bobo VR nonsense. I like the Bobo M3, which was also my that was my main that was another main complaint was that it just wasn't designed for the Quest 3. It's just a cash. It was just a cash grab. There we go. Because it should have just done that, but it didn't because it wasn't designed for the Quest 3. As uh, shown in the instructions, which unfortunately I couldn't capture the original instructions, and they oh, then they then they went out and made a video about oh you just took it off, but I pulled it extremely hard, and nothing happened. So how are you supposed to know you're supposed to take it off? If it's on the instructions. You don't. It's the thing. Okay, so let's leave that right there for right now. Let's put this on. Oh wait. Oh, oh, see how you snapped onto my head like a glove? Now we just, uh, okay, that, that's always annoying, but still. Okay. Uh, it's, yeah, it, it's like the stock shop, but just meant for all heads instead of most heads. Let's cinch this on my head. Now, some people don't like this. Like, oh, that's not good. Some people don't like that. Some people don't like being having the heads that cinch on their head, but I I like it. It's fine. It's fine. It truly is fine. Especially and I, like I like. Funny thing, Jay Brad complains about the heat buildup with his fan and whatnot. Yet, I wear glasses. I wear Ray-Ban glasses. I wear Ray-Ban aviators, and I get the heat buildup from that. So like, you shouldn't be talking about that, really. Uh, so I really fit it complain about Jay Brad, but he's such a good YouTuber, except when he opens his mouth. Let's cinch it all the way. Not much cinching, not much cinching, but we just put that right here. Now, Jay Brad complained about the, uh, these bits. It's fine. I don't know how they could have done it different other than put Velcro on top of it, which would have been nice, but see, that works. Cinch this down all the way. Right there. Another thing Jay Brad didn't show is showing it with the uh, is showing it with the um, the, the razor interface, which I think is a glaring uh, uh, omission if you if he's since you already had one in his video. Oh, that might be too tight, or is it just tight enough? Oh, that's not going anywhere. Same problem. Wait, hold on. You see, I got all the experience with the stock strap. Now I'm going to the line of the strap. Hey, let's have these cinch all the way and take these off. Now you can see, I need it right there. I need it right there, which means just do a little bit of this. Ah, God. I keep fucking coming off, and it's so violent when it does. But that's, again, a design flaw with the Quest, not necessarily the Razor. That it just popped off right there, you can't really keep it on there really good. Like these are going to be hop swappable if you had friends and got really sweaty and whatnot. Actually. But overall it's a much better experience than the uh than the bu than the Bubba and Thurry, at least for me. I gave me the problem of not enough runway for this, but but maybe it's not really meant for that. Let's uncinch this all the way then, and try to get it differently. Oh, it wants to be right there. Okay. Try 
Crowd mode still enabled. Let's turn off travel mode. Link screen. Stall getting. I need it right there. Okay, that's not the solution. See, I don't have any cheap on problems anymore. Which is good. <clears throat> like, you can't switch it on without that popping off. It's just stupid. But again, that's the Quest design, not uh, Razor design. Put that right there. Again, there, there, it's not a real big problem, especially since the pads are honestly big enough that if you do that, it's not, it's not, yeah, if you, yeah, notice. Notice how that was to rip off. See, I put it right there in the middle, and notice how it's not easy to take off, so it is, it's a non-issue. I don't know why Jay Brad was making such a big issue out of it. Let me put that right there. Nope. Is that going to go on there like that? Okay. How about just like it kind of needs? It kind of needs what this, what the razor kind of needs is straps that deviate from this. A strap going down over here under under your ear. I think it needs that because what the issue I'm dealing with is getting this to not go like that where the straps are and getting it go like that under my head. See? That's the issue I'm having is this is perfect right now. Let me see my menu. Remember, I'm also having astigmatism, so that's not going... Yeah, right there. Right there is where I can see it. And, of course, we are... You can't see things perfectly anyway up close to you. Okay, let's keep that there. And of course, you can do it individually too. I like having the menu bar like around here, so I can see it easily. And then the cheekbone thing is problem. Oh, that can go up there. Okay. Done. That's perfect. Again, I would soft pressure my cheekbones, and he was saying this in Canada Leaving for. He's, and Jay Brett was saying there's some uh, uh, Canada Leaving for, uh, uh, forces with this part. There is more than the. He is right. There is more than the sock strap. But also, it's not coming off either. It might come off with your hair, though. Jeez. Again, like, I wish there was something go under the ear. I wish there was a strap that deviated from this that went under the ear and you cinched those up to get it down squarely on your head. I don't know why they didn't do that. That kind of seems like a glaring omission to me, but anyway. Uh, it's still very shaky, but my neck's not hurting. Now let's do the, now let's do the classic uh, all the way to the end. 
It came off, okay. Yeah, that's fine. And you don't want you don't want it to stay in your head when you do that because you'll break your neck. Uh let's bring this closer. Okay. So yeah, for first impressions, like always, uh Oops. Let do. Ah, oh, there it goes. Yeah, again, it just need like this really just needs straps to go under. They go under. Okay, you can't see it. Straps to go under the ear. It really just needs that, and then it'd be perfect. Uh, is it worth? No, is it worth uh, seventy dollars? I think it is. It is it is that build quality, medical grade, very soft, insanely soft. Uh, has more points of adjustment than the stock strap, so it is for all heads, as opposed to most heads as as a stock strap. Kind of wish it was the stock strap, to be honest. Uh, but anyway. Actually, we can do a bit more than that. There we go. More than that still. I, I do like how sticky these are because even even with like two, even with one percent on there, it's I can pick up the entire headset by it. It's it's coming loose, but it's not coming loose fast that fast. So that's try really cinched on. No, that's not happening. See, it's my hair that's doing it and the fact that it, can, it can't do this. It really can't do that. It's the problem. I might need to try the, um, the facial interface, but you don't really need it, I don't think. If you need a facial interface, you need it for the rubber, and you need it for having it be more like blocking. That's why you would need the facial interface for, or if this material really misses with your skin. Which I have extremely sensitive skin, and you don't see anything on me, even though I've been sitting this thing up real tight. So yeah, uh, essentially it's a better shock strap, and the shock strap with facial interface cost thirty dollars. This cost, well, roughly thirty dollars. This cost roughly seventy. So it's just a bit more. Uh, it just it just doubled the price more. I actually can get that to work. Again, that, that still comes off like that, but it's fine. That's fine. It stays on enough. And again, things that go under the ear will be perfect. We'll make it perfect, but anyway. But anyway. And also you gotta get used to it coming off the stock strap 
or anything else because it's different and I just thought I could see the uh, thing there for a second, but anyway. And also, like the, uh, like the other headsets, I mean, like the, like the Chinese factory head straps, you can just put on and leave, and leave it there. Um, again, it's not exactly, it, it, it has the opposite problem they do where they're really loose and they come, they really loose and do this on your face. So it overextends your neck. Um... Whereas this doesn't do it, it just, the headset just wipes off your face, which is fine, just don't, just be worried worry that we, when playing extremely hard. I would, I would take, personally, I would take the headset wiping off my face as opposed to my neck breaking, my neck overextending because the headset keeps going when my neck stopped. I will personally take that over the I'll I'll personally take this effect over the other effect. Which to be fair, the other effect is the same as the sock strap too. This is the only strap that kinda goes oh that kinda goes over it. Let's try it all the way out actually. And just for demonstration. Okay, again, like, I just need this to stay down there. Which, again, what other headset does, well, other headshot does it, but still. Again, the facial interface, it's facial interface could help, but I don't think so, because it's really comfortable right now. Okay, so what do I need to do to get a cinch on my head that way? Let's take these. Yeah, I got it. So uh, I think this is how you're supposed to wear it. Again, let's do some more fast actions. Yeah, it's not hurting my neck at all. Which is the first. The sock strap can hurt your neck. The, hurt, the sock strap can, was hurting my neck sometimes. And so was the Bobo, Bobo M3. So it's good to see that this one's not. And let's take it off. Let me show you what this looks like. There's a warning inside just saying, be, don't be stupid. And you just put it right back on. Just like the Chinese factory headset, head strips. There we go. I mean, you gotta adjust it, but that's the same with all the head straps, really. I wanna say. I adjust it to fit most of the time. I don't want. I just want to cinch it on so that it straps taking some of the weight. Again, the design flaw of these not going down is is the is the main factor. The head strap is helping, but it's not. Again, it needs things going underneath the ear, which I wonder. Yeah, this would be perfect. Sorry, the video ended because it's the camera. Yeah, that would honestly be perfect. Hold on.
Yeah, you probably do need it's. Yeah, that's not okay. Yeah, and that was just the that was just the concept. But no, like the razor, you need you need to do that with your thing in order for fit on people who have actual hair, you know. Fit on people who have actual hair better. Again, uh, yeah, I probably do need it, so I probably do need the facial on your face. It's uh, disappointing, okay. Because of that one stupid design flaw with Quest 3, I need, I need to get another $20 product. But anyway. Yeah, I think you I think you release everything which they actually do stay floppy which is nice. You release everything and get adjusted to where you actually need to be. See? This. <sighs> yeah, I, I'm, my, I'm physically getting tired. Because that's just me, but that's just my disabledness, but anyway. Um. Again, and I'm trying to knock out the first couple months of fiddling with this. To fiddle with this, which you need to do with all the head stuff anyway. I presume. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. All right, that's real. Thanks for watching. See you. And uh, is it worth it? Yes, it absolutely is worth it. Uh, absolutely is worth it. You just gotta get used to it. Like the stock strap or any strap, really, or any XR device, including my including my um, sport watch. I had to get used to it. It's her uh, is hurting now because I can't wear watches anymore. But um. I, it still took me a while to get used to it strapped, so why, why, why would this be the different? But it is definitely, definitely worth it if you're looking for... If you're looking for something better than the stock strap. The, the, the Chinese factory, I would even say the elite strap, is not that. They're side grades to this. This is actually better. Yes, it does have a battery. Yes, it does have a fan. If you need those, you know what to do. But those are side grades. This is better than the stock strap. Factually, it's be like even factually, it's this but better. Um, again, we have the issue of we have the issue of it not having the uh, the under ear stuff, which would be nice, which would make it actually perfect, would fit on me perfectly. But I'm pretty sure you can fix it by just paying seventy by just paying seventy nine extra dollars and getting this facial interface. So we'll check that out next. But anyway, so yeah, that means for your links watching. Do be sure watching that this video. Leave a like, you know, awesome, check out stuff in the description below, such as various videos, sports channels, of course, Facebook sports channels, watching new videos, you need to contact our producer and by sharing your friends, family, and stuff. 
All right, that'd be a seal. Thanks for watching. And I guess, see you in a second.